Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is Contitech's series of service videos for automotive mechanics. In them you'll learn how to change timing belts on a really wide range of engines, simply, safely and quickly. The videos show the key working steps for workshop professionals. My name is Stefan Meyer and I'll show you a different vehicle engine in each video. Okay, let's get going. Today I have a 1.8 liter turbo delivering 110 kilowatt from an Audi A4 built in 1999. Engine code ANB. For this engine we require timing belt kit CT919K4 and toolbox V01. First move the engine to its default position, TDC Cylinder 1. Remove the upper timing belt guard so that we can see the mark on the camshaft sprocket more easily. There are two marks to set. First there is a mark, a notch, here at the top of the camshaft sprocket. This has to be aligned with the notch and the cover behind it. Then there is a mark on the crankshaft sprocket and another on the guard. These two have to be aligned. Once the timings have been correctly set, remove the crankshaft belt pulley and the lower timing belt guard, then slacken the timing belt off. Now slacken the timing belt off. Please insert an 8mm hex key into the tensioning pulley and turn it slowly but firmly counterclockwise until the hydraulic damper has reached its end position so that we can lock it with a pin. The timing belt is now slack. Next, remove the timing belt and change the components. Check the remaining components, such as the camshaft and crankshaft sprockets, for damage again before fitting the new belt. Now fit the timing belt in the following sequence. Start at the bottom at the crankshaft sprocket, pass around the sprocket here and the tensioning pulley, and then finish at the camshaft sprocket. We can't finish with the tensioning pulley since this has a high flange. To slacken the timing belt off, press the tensioning pulley down a little counterclockwise to release the pressure on the oil damper so you can then withdraw the pin. The timing belt is automatically tensioned via the hydraulic damper. Please note with reference to the hydraulic damper. The hydraulic damper should also be changed whenever the belt is changed, even though it has no specific change interval. Another very important point to note, the hydraulic damper should only be compressed once it has been installed. Never tension it in a vise and compress it in a horizontal position. This could result in air being entrained and cause damage. Now turn the engine over twice in the direction of engine rotation and then check the timings. If the timings now match, you're in the home straight. Reassemble everything in reverse order. Okay, almost done. Now you just have to check everything has been reassembled. Follow the manufacturer's specification, particularly when it comes to the torques. Remember, gently does it. Don't forget our quality mark. Place the change sticker in a clearly visible location in the engine compartment, so the customer sees that you've installed quality.